In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this kinetic type animation using Forge Dynamics and Cavalry. Hi, I'm Adam Bennett. This is the video shot. Before we start, I want to thank Elena Kudrav Staver for letting me feature her animation. She's now doing her own cavalry tutorials, so in future, please go there instead of making do with my inept hacky solutions. Okay, let's get started. Handily, if you've used After Effects before, the shortcut for comp settings is the same, Control K. For this animation, I'll be working in HD, 24 frames a second. I want to start with a curved rectangle. You can either drag the tool on the viewport window here, or if we all click, it will create one centered in screen. In the attribute editor window, I'll set the width to 400, height 150, and corner radius 100. Then add text. I'll type who in here. We're gonna randomize this later. I'll set the color to white so we can see it. I'm using Futura LT book, size 90, and have it center aligned. Then I'll pull up the align window. And align the text and lozenge horizontally. Then right click on those two layers and group selected. I'll rename the group because we always work tidy. Speaking of which, I'll also rename the comp up here. We can change the background color of our comp simply by dragging one of these swatches onto the viewport. That's a nice little touch that After Effects doesn't have. Okay, look, I'm not looking to pit cavalry against After Effects, although it would be fun sourcing film clips just for that purpose. <laughs> With that group selected, I'll click on the duplicator icon up here. That turns off the text lozenge group, and we now have this duplicator. Set the distribution to random, and adjust the size to 2000 by 1000, which basically covers these HD comp dimensions. I'll leave the count at 50 for now. Let's all color. When you start for Technicolor up there. That's a deep cut. You can browse palettes here or create your own. Here's one I made earlier. Either way, you can create a color array from that palette here. Now we can randomize the colors by connecting the color array to the color of the rectangle shape. Then we'll use a similar process to randomize the text. Click here and type string in the search bar, and then we can add a string array. I'm gonna type who, then add the remaining words that I want. Then we'll connect that string array to the text input here. If you want to keep your scene tidy, you can pop those arrays inside the duplicator. It won't affect anything. Now let's animate the scene. With the duplicator selected, hit Forge Dynamics here. Forge Dynamics is a pro feature in Cavalry. I'm using version 2.0. If you don't have the pro version, you can still open the file and play around with it. You just can't save or render it. Now if we hit play on the spacebar, we get this. I'll set the gravity to zero and the ground mode to composition bottom. And then we get this. Finally, I'll keyframe the count of the duplicator by clicking here, and I'll have it go from 50 to 100 over the course of the comp duration. And then we have this. And that's it. If you want the free project file for this animation, it's on my Gumroad, link below. Thanks again to Elena. Also, thanks to Chris Hardcastle at Cavalry for answering my inane questions. Is it true that there is a place in a man's head that if you shoot it, it will blow up? I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.